my name is Eileen, an art instructor from Art Therapy. Today I'll be guiding you through a poster color painting where we will be doing a field with a tree on a bright summer's day. Let's get started. For the first step, we'll be using a pencil to draw or trace an outline from the reference image. For the next step, we'll be applying an underpainting to our whole paper. We'll be wetting it and applying an even layer of light pink over our previous sketch. Once the pink underpainting is dry, we will be painting the sky from a light sky blue to a whitish blue gradient. The light sky blue will be a mixture of sky blue and white, while a whitish blue will be a little bit of sky blue and mostly white. While the paint of the sky is still wet, we'll be taking some white to mark out the main shapes of the clouds. As we're doing the clouds, the top of them will be lighter than the bottom, so ensure you use more white paint when you're defining the edges of the clouds and blending them out on the bottom. Once everything is dry, we will begin adding some dark shadows to the greenery of the painting. For the large bush in the back, we will be using a gradient of viridian to green. For the small bush, we will just be using viridian. And for the left side bush, we will be using a green color. For the grass, we'll be using a gradient of green to Prussian blue from the horizon to the bottom of the page. Once everything is dry, we will begin developing the layers for the bushes in the back. For the large bush, we will be using a mixture of green and viridian to add a layer of leaves by dabbing your round brush to achieve leaf-like shapes. Keep the viridian leaves close to the bottom of the bush and the green and yellow-green leaves in the middle. For the small bush, do the same using Viridian and Prussian blue. Keep the Prussian blue leaves at the bottom and cover the rest of the bush with Viridian leaves. You may also use white to make some of the colors lighter and more opaque. For the next step, we will be developing the bushes by adding more layers and more leaves. For the large bush, we will begin by darkening the shadows at the bottom of the bush with more Prussian blue. Once that's done, we can add some highlights on the top with some pale green. You can make pale green by combining some sky blue, yellow green, and white. For the small bush, we'll be adding some highlights using an emerald green. To get an emerald green color, we will be mixing some sky blue, green, and white. For the side bush, we will first add some shadows using a dark green made of a green and Prussian blue. Then we can add some highlights using a bright green, which will be yellow, yellow green, and white. With the background bushes all done, we'll now be working on the grasses in the field. Using a light yellow, 
which is yellow and white, carefully paint small blades of grass in the top of the field. You may add little dabs to indicate distant flowers or tall grasses. For the next layer of grass, we'll be using a medium green, which is a yellow green, yellow and white to paint on another layer of grass. Make sure it only partially obscures your previous layer. Lastly, we will be painting the grasses in the foreground. Make sure to only partially obscure the last two layers. Make a dark green, which is green and Prussian blue, to paint a majority of the foreground grass. Use Prussian blue to add some dark grasses at the bottom of the painting for some of the shadows. For the final step, we will be adding in the tree and any finishing touches. We will be painting the bark of the tree a dark blue, which is Prussian blue and black. Once that is dry, we will start adding a tree bark texture using a light pink, which is pink and white. Finally, you may add some flowers to your field. I've used light pink, which is pink and white, as well as some white, but you may add any color of flower that you like. Once that is complete, dab on some leaves using a dry, flat brush with a combination of viridian green and bright green, which is yellow green, yellow and white. So that's the end of our painting. I hope you found that easy, fun and informative. If you'd like to learn more, we have a variety of one-on-one -on -one online classes that you can enroll in. If you'd like to learn at your own pace, we also have activity kits that you can bring home and make art with. Thank you so much for joining our class today and I hope to see you soon.